we are entirely matching today my dress this sunscreen color even my nails <laughs> hi by seeing the thumbnail you probably know that today i'm going to talk about this sunscreen and you guys need to see this because this is my backup the moment i tried it i like fell in love with it entirely so this is my cute little backup and guess what this berry bright sunscreen and this consist chemist sunrix sunscreen they both have exactly similar filters with exactly same you know skincare ingredients they are like same i know last year i was crazy for this sunscreen but right now this is my new craze hi welcome to my channel let's talk about this consist chemist berry bright sunscreen it is soothing calming non greasy formula broad spectrum spf 50 pa 4 pluses both uva uvb niacinamide blackberry extracts for all skin type 50 ml and retails for 399 but you can always grab it at cool and crazy discounts all these factors make it a superstar i know a sunscreen is not a superstar until we talk about its ingredient list so here i am gonna analyze and post mortem and basically i'm gonna operation so basically i'm gonna tear the ingredient list and tell you everything that i know so this video can be a bit long because i'm gonna post more on the ingredient list and we have a company guys keep that in mind it has only five sunscreen filters two are mineral sunscreen filters and the three are chemical sunscreen filters so this makes this sunscreen a hybrid sunscreen first ingredient is aqua it is a solvent and then the next two ingredients are mineral sunscreen filters they are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide and the rest three filters are chemical filters and these are ethoxyl methoxycyanamide butyl methoxy di benzomethane octicrine both titanium dioxide and zinc oxide they are physical filters so they kind of reflect the UV rays both UVA and UVB rays and then the first chemical filter is ethoxyl methoxycyanamide it is a UVB blocker it cannot give you protection against UVA and it kind of breaks down when it comes contact with the sun so that is why it is important to apply and reapply your sunscreen it doesn't break down immediately after you uh, face the sun it kind of breaks down slowly so this is why it is important to apply sunscreen in every two hours if you are outside next sunscreen filter is butyl methoxy dibenzone Methane. it is again a uva sunscreen factor like it blocks uva rays but it doesn't block the uvb rays and it again is not photostable so when you like uh, face the sun it it starts to break down so this is why if you are using chemical filters uh, this is why like it is important for you to reapply your sunscreen and i don't know like please reapply your sunscreen i am telling this over and over and i will tell this over and over reapply your sunscreen and the last sunscreen filter is octicrylene it is both uva and uvb filter and keep that in mind it is is like quite photo stable so in every 95 minutes or you can say in every uh, one and a half hour it kind of uh, loses 10% of its capacity uh, and it is like safe for children also and it kind of you know improve the water resistance of the sunscreen filter and uh, yeah like this is it and I don't know like there's nowadays there's a battle about old old sunscreen filters and new generation sunscreen filters look the old generation sunscreen filters are not bad at all we are using it for years for decades i don't know like these sunscreen filters are also good you know and guess what this sunscreen passes the eye irritation test next ingredient is 1,3 butylene glycol it is a humectant and it helps to absorb the product faster and deeper into our skin and it is a calming ingredient also Next is lecithin. It is a goodie. It is a water binding ingredient. Next ingredient is ceramide NP. Our upper layer skin has also ceramide NP and it kind of keeps a healthy barrier of our skin. It has phospholipids. Uh, phospholipid here, phospholipid is an emollient. But in our skin, our body, like our cell, is made up with lipids and proteins. Uh, so now you can imagine how much it is like meant and you know it is essential for us. Then it has aluminium hydroxide. Aluminium hydroxide is a UV protection coating, you can say. And here it is also an emollient. Then it has steric acid. This is an emollient and it is a fatty acid. Then it has alpha lyptic acid that is an antioxidant. Next is sodium polycrylate. It is a crazy water binding molecule. Then it has xylitol. It is a sugar, so I don't know what is, I don't know what it does. Basically. Then it has niacinamide all rounder. It is a multifunctional product. It acts as an anti-aging, anti-wrinkle product. Then it kind of calms your skin. If you have acne prone skin, it's gonna be a best option for you. It increases the ceramide synthesis into our skin. Also fades the brown spots on our skin. And it also helps in acne, rosacea. Come on, niacinamide, it is an all-rounder. Then it has ceramide AP similar to ceramide NP. 
then ceramide EOP and cholesterol. Cholesterol is fat, our skin has cholesterol itself. You know what like ceramide, cholesterol and that uh, phospholipids, they like together they are doing a great stuff of like keeping our skin very healthy. It has sodium, laurel, lactate. I think it is an, um, I don't know, it is an emulsifying agent. You know that holds water and oil molecule together maybe and I think it is an antibacterial ingredient also then it has caprylic acid uh, glycerin is stated it is also an emollient and emulsifying agent that holds water and oil together uh, then it has sodium hyaluronic it is hyaluronic acid then it has something that I've never heard of uh, but I researched a bit and it was like an emollient and it is kind of like it acts similarly as ceramides and it has some antimicrobial and anti acne properties also basically it is a good and it is like same as ceramide and cholesterol and lipids then it has milk crystal extracts this is a soothing in, soothing and calming ingredient and also an antioxidant then d alpha tocopherol acetate it is an antioxidant olive squalene an emollient and also skin identical agent resveratrol which is an antioxidant then blackberry extracts I don't know what it does maybe it is an antioxidant I don't know uh, then sodium levinyl what is this uh, levulinate sodium levulinate I don't know what it does and potassium sorbate which is a preservative and then it has fragrance so here is the postmodern of this product and now let's talk about how it actually is so it, it has like this purplish slightly purplish hue into the product and it feels extremely coming on the skin like the moment I rub it on my face it feels so soothing and so coming it's like I'm applying something I see on my face and you know what after after application I don't rub it like I leave it just as it is and after one or two minutes then I start rubbing it and then I don't need to rub it at all like maybe one or two swipe and it kind of absorbs into my skin and you know what it is a matte sunscreen like it is not a dewy sunscreen like trust me it is a matte sunscreen if you if you if you have like if you have oily skin this sunscreen is for you because after application after it settles down up to 10 minutes later it becomes a mattifying sunscreen and if you have dry skin you can try it on but if it feels too dry then maybe apply lightweight super lightweight moisturizer and then you can use the sunscreen but it is like I am so happy because nowadays brands are like they are only making dewy and satin finish sunscreen whereas this one this is the only sunscreen that passes the test and it is certified also remember when I talked about this sunscreen last year that I have sweaty face and no matter what sunscreen I use my, my skin kind of sweats a bit but when I apply this one it doesn't make my face sweaty even when I reapply it, it it never made my my skin sweaty the similar goes for this sunscreen also even after I reapply it or apply it over any time anywhere maybe like it is so hot in West Bengal right now like it is 44 degrees Celsius and even in 44 degrees Celsius I'm applying this sunscreen and it is not giving me sweaty face like how amazing this fact is so this is why like these two are so similar the only difference is the price point and i think the packaging and the fragrance factor also so i'd say if you're obsessed with this sunscreen like give this sunscreen a try and you're gonna like forget about all the other sunscreen and i'm almost done with the tube like you know see it like i'm almost done with the tube don't worry i have a backup and and it has so many antioxidants that you don't need to apply a vit extra vitamin C serum with it. Like you won't believe it is so hot in West Bengal right now that it is like 10 a.m. in the morning and I'm shooting this video because after the sun rises and it's in the top, like it's in the top peak, I cannot like, I swear I cannot sit here and make this video because this is the, the first floor and it heats up real fast. I cannot deal with it. But yeah, in this hot summerness, this sunscreen is savior. Whenever I apply this, even reapply this sunscreen, my, like it gives a soothing effect on the skin that I cannot resist. And like we, how intensely we are matching right now. I can't like say much. So yeah, that's it. This video is so, so, so long. If you like this video, don't forget to like this video. Share this video if you want to. And don't forget to drink a lot of water. And if you are going outside, keep yourself like safe and cozy and like i don't know like do everything to stay away from sun right now because the sun is showing no mercy right now so yeah that's it drink a lot of water and i'll see you guys in the next video take care and bye